Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Kotats here, and welcome back to another live stunt montage reaction this time. And it's kind of funny. This is the first out of the two reaction videos I'm making today, and what's so unexpected about this is I did not expect either of these videos to drop today. I'm talking about Ala Penguin Solo, which I'm reacting to in this video, or um, the Horizon Affinity Second Team Dodge. I did not expect either of these videos to get released today. So that's why I'm recording this video pretty late in the night, so I just kind of want to get these two videos done, then I'll be like, it's going to be late and I'll be tired, I'm just going to go to bed after this. But anyhow, um, this is actually something I've known about for like five months now, because I was in I was in a Skype call with Elias, also known as Outlaw Penguin, like around five months ago, and he mentioned this, so this is something that he's been planning for a long time. He did not tell me when he was going to release it, so I guess it kind of like slipped my mind that this was even a thing. I think this technically his 16th stunt montage. Yeah, I think that's how it is for Lost Hunters. Like, all their old montages are like rushed and stuff like that. But it's been about like a year, over a year, since his 15th stunt montage. So, yeah, I can't wait to watch this. And, yeah, let's watch the video right now. Okay. Evolve Stunting. Evolve Editors. Alwa Penguin Presents. I'm liking how smooth this is so far. Those are really cool text effects. GTA 5 Stun Montage 16 Resonance. Yes! Uh, this is gonna be so exciting. I can already tell this is super well edited, and I'm right. This is just amazing. Okay, so this building, what's he gonna do? Okay, so Penguin and Limb, so... Alright, I'm not sure what vehicle he jumped off of, but pretty good open right there. Very creative, whatever vehicle that was. Okay, so what's he doing here? A bump off of there, and on top of the tower, which I'm pretty sure no one has done before, so nice job. Oh, I like that glitch effect he put on there, too. How do you do it in, like, that tiny little area? Okay. So, I get a feeling it's technical stunt, and... Oh, yeah, I guess I'm right. Interesting way getting into a grind there. I'm sort of liking the style you have here. Alright. So, use the rock to hit the bump, and... I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's in like a nose manual right there. I was sick. And into a grind. That was about as technical as a BMX done, but you somehow did it on a batty, which is really cool. Okay, so Capolis. I say Paulus, I mean Palace. <laughs> Alright. How is he going to get up here? So, the double bump and no way. Is he going to land where I think he's going to land? Alright, so on top. No one's really done top to that building before, so it seems no one's gotten the double bump. Oh, and I remember this stunt right here. This is a very good stunt, especially when it came out. Okay, so Penguin in Fame. Oh, Fame. I haven't seen one of his clips before. So, Fame. Oh, did Fame do the second part of the stunt of the guide? I, I, I believe that's a technique that was originally done by Slayer and Vanilla, right? Okay, so. And he finally hit this. He finally hit this. Great. And he did hit. Oh, yeah. Wait, he already hit that, okay. I confused that with something else. Sorry, that was a Team Tosh stunt. Okay. I keep forgetting his Team Tosh stunt for some reason. A very cool grind spot right there. Is he gonna take it farther? Because he goes off of that, right? Is he gonna land somewhere? Oh, and he takes that down. A double grind of a motorcycle. Yes! That was awesome. Okay. So he gets the bump right here, and I wonder where he's gonna take this. Oh, I, I remember this stunt. Really good. A very precise landing, considering he had the Akuchu for this one. Okay. I like this music, too. Very good choice. Alright. I feel like he's gonna waiting to put the more epic stuff later in the video. Oh, this cinematic reminds me of Dark Horizon. For some reason. Alright. Oh, he's gonna do a stunt here, isn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so he's getting the bump, and... Huh, I, I, I forget who the first person ever hit this stunt was. Like, I don't think it was him, but... Yeah, it's still a very good stunt nonetheless, I wouldn't attempt that. <laughs> okay. Oh, and this, I remember this stunt. I'm not sure if he re-hit this, but this is another um, classic Ala Penguin Team Taj stunt. And he goes on top of it, nice. Okay, so in here... And... Alright. So he gets a full loop thing. Oh, and I forget, was this a, is this new or did he do this in a DLC video? I, I don't quite remember. And he ends up going into another one. I think this was probably from a DLC video, 
I, I don't quite remember. Okay, I see like those rails. So another technical motorcycle stunt that he's famous for. Just that technique like really gives me San Andreas vibes for some reason. Like that sort of like motorcycle like uh, manual stunt that he does right there. So a grind right there into a sort of a clean landing. Oh, I don't know how he does this. I've never. I. Oh, okay. I, I just pers I just noticed something. Do you, does the front of your tire have to be like sort of broken to do that? No, because he's doing it right there. I I don't know how he's doing that. It, just, it doesn't make any sense. I've never seen anyone besides Dallas Penguin do that. Oh, another good precision stunt. Wow, how has no one seen that spot before? Oh, I love the penguin j pajamas he has on his like character. That's pretty good. And how has no one gotten that bump? It seems like a pretty obvious bump. This is original stunt, nice uh, tower stunt right there. So Penguin and Fame are back at it again. Doing this technique together, okay, and doing the grind. I'm just loving the amount of style this video has, like in total, which includes like the editing and the stunts alike, so. Oh, I know what he's doing here. Getting this long precision, yep. And I believe the Anarchy Society revealed that spot right there. But no one really ended up hitting it until Elias. I'm pretty sure. I don't. I don't think. I don't think anyone hit that. Okay. All right. So editing and stunts are all penguin. Solid montage, dude. Very good. So music. Uh, the Blue Stones. Never heard of them. I'm gonna have to take a look at them after this, though, because I enjoyed those songs. Okay. So the cinematic screen's like going up the road. I'm not sure if this is motion tracking the way he's doing this, but I'm liking this. Thanks to Bogos, Vanilla Sergeant Tudru, his limited views, Nitro, X Black Nightmare, and Tiki. Okay. Huh, what's this last song here in the credits? I can tell it's something different. The way this video is just put together overall is really amazing to me. Oh, so he's like in here thinking all the people. Jimmy Bars, Lobin, Waken 4, Bonkers, uh, 24-7, Simon, Jerry Trower, Momat, Thundermash, Red Kimon, Times 3. I think he's listing like all the people here who have like helped him in the beginning because these are all people that really helped him early on, like 2014 and stuff like that, back when he wasn't nearly as big. Uh, Fame, uh, Shuffle, Slayer, Albert, Afterlife, Rainbow, MX Easy, whoa, Forest. Uh, it's moving faster. This is some very impressive motion tracking work. That's for sure. So, Dark, Plex, Nez, oh, uh, We Are the Empty, Network, Keg, HD, and Rob Mom. Alright. Okay, special thanks to Ghost and Nitro for teaching me the be enemy and great friends. Lobbing for helping there when I eat him. Ah, uh, Lobbing's a great dude. Uh, I'll admit that. Um, X Black, oh, I, I can't read that. I wish I could read that. Um, hmm, Red Keymon for believing me, giving me the opportunity to grow. Yeah, I heard Red Keymon was a nice dude and he's still around. And like all the people, all the calls and fun times we had together. Um, yeah, this is very considerate. I'm liking that he's putting this at the end. Uh, the team's Legacy Stunting, Versa Alliance, and Evolve Stunting. Well, I feel like an old guy in the stunting community now because I remember when I went for Versa Alliance. Man, that was a long time ago. 2014, man, 2014. <laughs> okay. And then it's fading into white. Uh, do not go gentle in that good night. Rage, rage, and the dying of the light. Dylan Thomas. So he puts in a quote here. Um, Thought-provoking one. Um... And yeah, it's the end of the video. All right, so for this second of the video, um, if you guys don't already know it, I know it's been a while since I reacted to a solo montage and something I don't really do frequently unless like something like, uh, unless other purposes sort of warrant a reaction to it, uh, which was the case of this video. I just want to do this for Penguin because uh, this is the last solo montage that he's ever going to release. So I just thought I wanted to react to it just like, you know, to see it live. And that's why, that's that's the kind of special reason, and also because I know him and stuff like that. It just felt like doing it, so I, th I feel like that's more than enough justification for this. And I'm not really going to be going about this like a normal Team Taj, because like in normal Team Taj reviews, I'm just going to like review like the stunt and stuff like that. I'm going to do more of like a broad like sort of scope for this one, especially since like one person, obviously I don't need to choose MVP. Obviously the MVP is Outlaw Penguin, he's the only person in this video. So overall, I just have to say, like, the way this video is put together, he, it, he, it, obviously, um, he put a lot of thought into this, especially since, I, especially me, I've been aware of how long that he's been working on this project for, 
Um, like he, he took like sort of his best stunts in here and like put him in one. That's kind of what this is meant to be. This wasn't really meant to be like an all like an original spot. Like just like completely new video. It was meant to just be sort of like a wrap up video. If that exclamation makes any sense at all. But that's what this video is kind of meant to be. And my favorite stunts were like the original ones he did. Like past team tages. Like that original just like uh, ATV stunt. Uh, the, the mini positions I always does. And... Throughout the video, I always like that technique that he has like does like the nose manual with the baddie to one. Um, I'm gonna have to learn how to do that because that looks pretty cool. I have no idea. Before this video, I haven't really seen people doing it that much. Maybe I'm just not paying attention, but I haven't really seen too many people do that technique of the motorcycle where they're doing like the nose manual into a grind. I just think just the way that looks is very, very cool. And it was something that made this video especially unique to me. Uh, also... The music choices were fitting for this video. Obviously, like, my review of this is much less structured than usual. I'm just going to be talking about what's on my mind. Um, yeah, and also, the edit was the main amazing thing about this video. Just the way of the way Elias slash Outlaw Penguin has evolved as an editor. No pun intended for by evolves uh, stunting. But the way that he's evolved as an editor, like, over all this time is truly remarkable and it really just goes to show you how like when you're always just like open-minded and willing to learn new tricks and willing to go distance to just like better yourself and better your skills and talents that it, it can really make a difference like the time put in that's like been made apparent by this video that law penguin has made by himself just like when you just go back and look at edits he's done 2014 and then just compare to the stuff he's done more recently he has developed an actual skill here. It is really, really impressive and talented. And I couldn't be any more just, like, happy about just, like, all the stuff that he's done for editing and stuff like that. Just, wow. Just, like, I, I, I have a hard time knowing what to say here. But just, I, I think, feel like the title of this montage was, like, fitting for it, too. Resonance really just fits in with the music. And the overall feeling that this video was, like, sort of meant to portray. So... I don't really have much to say besides that. I, I can't really decide on a single favorite stunt because it's just sort of a mashup on them all. But I did feel like every stunt in this video was fitting in it. And I can't really think of anything else that I would change about this video. So I just don't really have any complaints. So because of that, I'm going to be giving this video a 10 out of 10. Um, Elias slash Outlaw Penguin's last solo stunt montage right here. And I enjoyed it thoroughly so make sure to leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below um go subscribe to outlaw penguins channel even though i won't be leaving it in the description i'm just going to be leaving the evolve stunting video link because i'm sure like everyone agrees that's probably better if i put the evolve version there because that's going to help like the team more um just go check out like outlaw penguin slash elias's channel on your own time if you want to he uploaded the video on his channel too but just make sure to go like check it out like leave a comment like on this video on his video or the video on the evolve stunning channel just let me know what you think about this video like what do you think about it um i i enjoyed it a lot like i've been saying throughout this whole video and yeah it's without this getting repetitive because i'm just gonna keep saying it's good because this video is just freaking incredible I, i'm just gonna leave it with that okay so if you guys enjoy this video at any point in time be sure to drop a like on the video because it does help a lot and also be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel for daily gta 5 content and more and until next time this is gotatsu have a wonderful dare night wherever you live please be safe kotatsu out Go!